U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland faced tough questions today from the Senate Judiciary Committee on a range of topics, including the rise of fentanyl-related deaths. The backdrop to the sometimes heated hearing, Republican accusations of bias within the Department of Justice. NBC's Alice Barr reports from D.C. On favor of I'm asking right. you my question. Answer my question. In an explosive hearing today, the nation's top law enforcement official facing his own interrogation from the Senate Judiciary Committee. Lawmakers in both parties grilling Attorney General Merrick Garland over a range of crises and controversies, topping the agenda how the Justice Department is handling the epidemic of fentanyl overdoses. This is out of hand. The attorney general pointing to stepped up enforcement. Last year, DEA and its partners seized enough fentanyl lace pills and powder to kill every single American. While acknowledging more needs to be done to cut off supply of the dangerous drug. Can I answer the question? You, no, the, you the cannot. Attorney... Tempers flared as Republican senators hammered Garland for not charging protesters outside the homes of conservative justices when the Supreme Court overturned the landmark abortion ruling Roe v. Wade. Have you brought a case under this statute, yes or no? As far as I know, we haven't, and what we have done is defended to the lies of the justices. It's part of a larger picture of Republicans attempting to cast the Justice Department as biased against conservatives while trying to shield liberals. The men and women of the department pursue their work every single day in a nonpartisan and an appropriate General way. General Garland. Hanging over today's hearing, the Justice Department investigations into how President Biden, former President Trump, and former Vice President Pence handled classified documents. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. For his part, Attorney General Garland highlighted the Justice Department's work fighting the rise of violent crime and hate crimes, as well as working with Ukraine against Russia's brutal invasion. It's worth noting he did get some bipartisan praise in that area.